In this video, we're going to look at Keith Strand's comment on my video about the ultimate calendar table hack, which I love, which is offsets. And here's what Keith asked me about. So Keith asked about, hey, how can we do this uh, for offset by weeks? So let's look into that. I gave it a shot. I think it was harder than I expected, but let's uh, jump right into the query. Now, of course, this is my first take at it. That's the one part that I love about Power BI. There's always a few different ways of doing this. And Power, uh, the query editor is, uh, I'm still learning, as we all are. So I'm sure there are folks uh, smarter than me out there which who may have a, maybe a very elegant solution. But mine didn't feel that elegant, but it definitely works. So I feel the first thing that I needed to do, so I'm not going to explain all the syntax, but I'll explain the logic that I used. Um, so the first thing that I needed to do was to add just a marker to indicate weak boundaries. So I started off there. Uh, so I kind of demarcate. So th these, as I've said before, I just use this for kind of for documentation, just so I can visually scan a complex query and I can identify the segments that I'm working in. So that's just a demarcation. And then for, for weeks, I chose Sunday as a start of the weekday. Now you can ch change this to one and then Monday will be a start day or something like that. So here I just filtered it down to Sundays only. And I said Sundays mark my week. And then I added a simple index column and that I did uh, by just, you know, add column, index column, boom. So now I have a sequential number. Now I merge this back to my original query. So essentially this one, let's try this again. What it does is this merge, um, goes back to the ultimate table and merges the index week sequence num. So essentially brings in, goes back to the original calendar table and brings in the sequence number, which we have just figured out. Uh, so that's the result. And once we expand the column, since our week sequence number was done only based on Sundays and this ended up unsorted. So I sorted by date. So now you can see, I can't see beyond my mic. So you can see this is January 1 through 7. And if you scroll over to the right, you can see that, uh, you know, it starts kind of 2. So only Sunday gets the sequence number. And then uh, the next Sunday gets the sequence number. But another one of my favorite features is fill down. So that is transform fill down or up right here in the ribbon. Whatever you're looking for, looking to do, my friend, there's always a button for that. Well, not always. Sometimes you got to dive into the M code, but you get the idea. So we filled it down and now you see it's nearly complete except the, the first, if there were days before the first Sunday, they were ending up and as null. So I just replaced that as with one kind of uh, specify that value. So that becomes one and everything is sequential. So now I know my weeks. Now all I have to figure out is hey, which is my current week and then just subtract that number with each of these dates. So here I determined the, the week, uh, the, which is my current week. That's so it's saying 197 is a current week. And the formula you can see, I'm simply comparing date with current date as we had done in when we had calculated the other offsets. So now we got the current week. And now I just say, sure, now all I have to do is the week sequence now, which is which identifies every single week. Uh, from that subtract the current sequence week. And it's easier to show you the result in the table and I have filtered it down to a smaller range just to show you the kind of the few months around the current date where you can see here that uh, today is October 7th. And you can see, uh, let's try this, October 7th. So uh, actually, let's try this way. <laughs> okay, I'll get my calendar in here. Ba boom. And now you can see, so October 1 through 7 is marked as the current week right here, seven days. And then if you go before or after, seven days before that are marked here. Oops. Uh, and the next seven days, August 8th to 14th are again, oops, August 8th to 14th and so forth. So that's your Cur week offset. So now if you want to display in a report, only show me the last three completed weeks, you go minus one to minus three, minus one, minus one, minus yeah, I can't count. And that will be your three weeks. If you want to use that in some kind of uh, DAX measure, you can say, hey, go to the last five weeks and calculate a rolling average.
that's easy to do. That's the magic of offsets, my friend. If you uh, if you need to learn more about offsets and understand how they work, yeah, go back to my original video. We'll try to make sure there's a link there. Power on, my friends. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.